It is a women's bantamweight showdown between Misha Tate and Marion Renault. And I know you didn't have the benefit of starting as a striker back in the day. First day she stepped in a gym, she was mixing all the different disciplines, and the results certainly speak to that commitment and dedication. It shows. It shows in her ability to fight high-level competition right away. She does not need fights to build her up. She's prepared to fight the wrestler. She's prepared to fight the grappler. She's prepared to play kickboxing match with the best kickboxer. Her life has prepared her yeah. for these moments. All the training, all the sessions, all the private sessions has made her ready to compete for a title right away. Yeah, I would agree. And, and at least the early returns are that she looks comfortable and confident in every discipline and every martial arts situation. Well, she's one of the best grapplers in this or any of our women's divisions, and we'll see how it goes for her here tonight. Interesting striker versus grappler matchup in front of us. And sometimes you see a specialist, and when you get a specialist that's as good as she is, it does not matter what the opponent possesses. She will always rely on what she has worked on her entire life to develop from all the accomplishments internationally, domestically, all the things she accomplished to come into the UFC with the hype that surrounded her it has allowed her to implement that grappling style of an attack against her opponent. And the stand-up grappling, the clinch fighting oh. is just suffocating, and then she gets you on the ground. It's over. Best of luck trying to get up. So yep. we will see how it goes for the gifted grappler in another huge UFC showcase here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. That's a great division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of nine wins, eight losses, and one draw. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Visalia, California, Marion, the Belizean Bruiser. No. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a grappler, holding a professional record of 19 wins, eight losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Misha Cupcake Tate! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? Jersey, I'm told sports gambling is legal here, and yeah. we got a good UFC fight now coming. Oh, wow, sports gambling is legal. John, you're right where you want to be. You're salivating. You're calling the fight, but you're thinking about the basketball game, the hockey game, because John Anik knows how to make money at the sports book. But don't worry, tonight we will give you a great fight. Brick City. <laughs> oh, the right hand is there for Renault's looking for an arm bar here. Oh, she slams into the ground and with authority right there. So that's certainly one way to fend off the arm bar. Lift your opponent up and slam her to the ground. Well done. Sound strike on the ground. All right, she postures up here, DC. We'll see if she can get those ground strikes. Watch for the huge elbows that she's known for. Takes right back to the full mount here. Take getting that ground and pound going and landing. Oh, excellent pressure here from top position by Tate. Lands with the ground and pound here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scars. She's going for the arm bar here.
Gotta be careful, Armbar. Oh, she picks her up, slams her to the ground right there. So a nice job defensively to fend off the arm bar and then turn it into an offensive situation. High level mixed martial arts. Ooh, big shot, man. Chase the finish. Oh, oh, those are those. Oh. DC, for my money, she's really timing her shots pretty well here tonight. Her timing, accuracy, and also the activity level is great tonight. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly draining at the gas tank of your opponent. Big leg kick land. Oh, man, I hate to laugh, but she lands another kick there, and now you're really starting to see that visible damage on the other side. When you start seeing the redness in the leg, that means that every... Oh! She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish the combinations here. Right. Nice job defensively by Renault. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Finds a home for that left hook. Oh, big Superman punch there. Just missed on the front kick there. Nice punch, Lynn. Elbow to the head in the clinch. Nice work there by Renault. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Right hand landed. Big kick. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Effective punch there by Renault. All right, let us now check out some of the action from that round, DC, and what a display of striking for her. Yeah, she did a fantastic job of finding her spot, putting herself in position where she was the one landing and really dictating the pace of the fight. She did a great job of mixing up everything. Second round here. Oh, shoots with a double leg takedown. Looked to be a good entry. Unable to finish the job. Effective punch there by Renault. Again, back into this position. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Tate. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, big elbow. Nice liver shot, Williams. So she's holding on to her here, not doing too much, really just looking to recover. Oh!
And now she's got the tie clutch. She missed with that jab. Well, there's no denying her power. She has been pretty accurate here tonight, but she's the type of fighter when she goes to the drive through window. She's just getting the sandwich. She's not getting the combo here. That's embarrassing. <laughs> That's embarrassing. You're going to go and order a sandwich. That allows your opponent to stay in the fight. Give him the entire combo. Buy the french fry. Buy the drink. Really put it on her. Go get her. Extend that combination. Be confident. Go and try to find something that's going to end this fight. Well, she's really putting it all together on the feet, DC. Staying busy and certainly staying accurate. She's known for her hands, and this is why. Ooh, what a punch. Left hand punch to the clinch. Oh, she continues to work the body here to great effect. Beautiful body kick. Stop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. Renault's trying to get a triangle here. Oh, nice! there by Tate. All right, she's right into side control right now, and a lot of fighters would prefer the half guard, but she does some pretty good work here. She does good work in the side control. She likes it. A lot of people will not even pass the side control anymore right. because it seems like you're giving your opponent an out. But she loves the fact that she has such a great guillotine, and if they turn one way, she'll attack it. So you only have one option to escape this young lady, and by going to your knees, she always throws her hooks in right. and just gets brutal damage off from the top position. There is just a viciousness with which she operates here on the ground as she continues to get the ground and pound game going. She might get a finish here. She's looking for a finish. She's so good at dictating the ground changes, and she's doing a fantastic job of building posture to try to land that kill shot at the top. Well, she oh. can't take a picture. She has to get, she has to put chase to finish. She moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Renault's got the full mount. Going for an arm bar now. An attack an arm bar. Oh, saved by the bell, round over. And the finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the submission attempt right at the end of the round, saved by the bell, back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. Well, a punch like that would have felled lesser women, but she survives and gets to fight another round. She's as tough as they come. She's sitting on her bench right now telling her coaches, I'm good, I'm ready to go. That was just a moment. I'm still gonna get the victory. I believe she has to change something. She cannot continue to do the same thing and expect a different result. Third round underway. Oh, huge right hand! She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed and it looks like she's gonna finish the fight. Oh, saved work from the bottom here as she tags her with the punch. Renault's lower jaw does not look good. I'm not sure it could be any more swollen. She continues to fight through it. Let's see how far she can go. How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Bohr just transitioning so beautifully. Yes, yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. 
great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she spent a lifetime developing the skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, nice job by her there. You see how strong she is. Her opponent's trying to control. That'll do it! That'll do it! Wow! Yeah, that was just a beautiful shot by her there to end the fight. I'm not sure she could have drawn it up any better than it played out here tonight. She lands the seminal blow there midway through the round. I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. So, big, big knockout win for her here tonight. Inside the Octagon once again, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ben will be out as one stop in this contest at one minute, 11 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Misha Pate. Well, there she is. This arena belongs to her here tonight. Hard pressed to find a knockout in the women's game as stunning as that. I mean, she has so much confidence in her hand that she's willing to stand in front of her opponent and take one to give one. And when she gave one, it shut the opponent's lights out. Great job finding that kill shot.